Welcome to BuildBox Academy. Today I'm going to take a quick look at the Explosion node. I'm going to go ahead and create a 3D game. We're going to dive straight into the 3D world and we'll head to the Asset Library and we're going to add a sphere. Uh, so this is going to be our main object that will explode. Um, and this will be our platform, so I'm just going to increase the size of that. Let's, let's set this scene up. Uh, we'll get rid of the ground because we don't need that. Uh, the cube needs to be set to static uh, because we want it to stay there and not fall away. Uh, the sphere is dynamic and that's fine. Uh, we need to add another sphere because this is going to be uh, part of our debris. The, the part of the explosion. Now I think we've hit a bug in BuildBox, so I'm going to save. I'm going to save uh, this file and relaunch it. And this often fixes the issue. Sometimes assets don't get added, and if that happens, just save the file, relaunch, and then often, if you just go back into the asset library, it'll load double click the asset you want and there we go so it's worked this time uh, so this one's going to be a piece of the debris so let's go into the sphere and uh, we want the explosion node and we're going to set it off on um, touch so if the model is touched then the explosion will trigger and this is where we need to add our debris in here so I've selected that asset, we'll save. And now if we quickly go in here and play this, you'll see it's working, uh, but it's not quite what we want because if you notice the original ball is left there and we want that to disappear. So we need to use the remove node. Uh, so I'm just gonna hook that up. So now when the ball explodes, the debris will, uh, the original ball will be removed. Uh, let's give the ball a color. There we go. Perfect. So now it's working. Um, but you'll notice the explosion debris is the same color as the model. And that is because it inherits the color here. So if you don't want that, you just need to switch that off and then it will be the color of the original model. Uh, so if we go back to the 3D world, we can hop into there and let's change this. Let's just make this a light, uh, kind of a light yellow back over to the sphere yeah there we go so that's working um, what we can also do is we could add a sound uh, so when we tap the ball it it, it kind of pops uh, now I'm going to use the sound from a sound pack I'm putting together for BuildBox games now this is going to be available from BuildBox Academy um, we're just working on it now so hopefully we should have that finished up in the coming weeks and it will be available to download. So let's drop this sound here. So hopefully you can hear that. So now when we tap this, the uh, there we go. You can hear the sound as it pops. Um, in the explosion, you can also change the number of particles. Uh, so I've moved it from 50 to 20 and you can also change the size as well. Um, so it's going to randomly generate them between 0.1 and 1 on the scale now. So you can see there varying sizes. Uh, but that, we probably want that. Let's do 0 point that. 0.2 and 0.3. That looks better. Uh, and what we could do is we could, um, we could spawn another one. So when the ball is touched, it's going to explode, uh, but we also want to spawn a new ball. Let's do that on the done here. Let's see if that works. And we're going to need to select that because we want to spawn another one of those. Yeah, so you can see it's doing it in its place there, uh, but let's offset that. I'm not sure if that's the right axis. Oh yeah, there we go. So if we do 10, uh, maybe another one will drop in. 
Yeah, perfect. That's great. So you can see, um, I mean, you can use a debris explosion however you like. Um, it's great for when a character dies, you can explode it. When it, when you impact with another 3D object, you can explode that. So it's very versatile, um, and it's a great, it's a, it's a great little thing to add some fun to your game. Um, it makes it just feel a bit more alive, I think. Uh, let's have a look at this. So I'm just duplicating these and uh, let's set these to kinematic. And uh, we don't want that. I'm just going to put the game into landscape. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. So that is a quick roundup of how the explosion node works. If you've got any questions, ask below in the comments. But I hope you found this useful. And this file, uh, this project file, along with the sound, will be available to download from buildboxacademy.com. All right, I'll see you in the next one.